हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे वी विल बी गोइंग टू डिस्कस एफूरू विच इज़ अ नॉवल रिटन बाय फ्लोरा नोपा सेट इन अ नाइजीरियन विलेज इन द मिड ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी इट फॉलोज द स्टोरी ऑफ द टाइटुलर करेक्टर एफूरू अ ब्यूटिफुल एंड इंडिपेंडेंट वुमेन हु फेज इज न्यूमरस चैलेंजेज एंड ऑब्स्टिकल्स एज शी सीक्स टू ए नेविगेट हर वे थ्रू द वेरियस सोसाइटल एक्सपेक्टेशन प्लेस अपॉन हर The novel begins by introducing Afuru as a young girl growing up in her village and with her parents and siblings. From a young age, Afuru is shown to be a strong and independent character with a deep sense of compassion and a desire to help those around her. Despite her natural intelligence and curiosity, however, Afuru's education is cut short when her parents cannot afford to send her to school any longer. As Afuru grows older, she becomes increasingly aware of the societal expectations placed upon her as a woman. She is expected to marry and have children and she is constantly pursued by suitors. Despite her many admirers, however, Afuru resists settling down with any of them, instead choosing to focus on her work and her own independence. As the novel progresses, Afuru faces numerous challenges and obstacles. She becomes the victim of gossip. and slander with many people in her village spreading rumors about her personal life she also suffers severe personal tragedies including the death of her mother and her best friend adizua despite these difficulties however afuru remains resilient and determined she eventually falls in love with a man named gilbert and they marry and have a child together however their happiness is short lived when gilbert is killed in a hunting accident leaving afuru to raise their child alone despite the many challenges she faces afuru never loses her sense of compassion and her desire to help others she becomes a respected member of her community using her skills and knowledge to help those in need in the end afuru finds a sense of peace and contentment having overcome the obstacles that stood in her way and found her own path in life Overall Afuru is a powerful novel that explores themes of gender roles, societal expectations and the importance of independence and self-determination. Through the character of Afuru, Flora Nwapa presents a strong and inspiring female protagonist who serves as a model for women seeking to assert their own agency and autonomy in a male-dominated world. Themes in Afuru Number 1 gender roles one of the central themes in the novel is the idea of gender roles and societal expectations placed upon women the novel examines the various expectations placed upon afuru and other women in her community including the expectation to marry and have children as well as the limited educational opportunities available to women number 2 independence and self determination another important theme in the novel is the idea of independence and self determination afuru is a strong and independent character who refuses to be defined by the expectations of others she chooses to pursue her own interests and desires despite the challenges she faces number 3 love and relationships the novel also explores the themes of love and relationships afuru's relationships with her suitors her husband gilbert and her best friend adizua are all central to the plot the novel examines the challenges and rewards of different types of relationships as well as the importance of mutual respect and understanding number 4 tradition and modernity the tension between tradition and modernity is also explored in the novel afuru's village is steeped in tradition but as the world around them changes the characters are forced to confront new ideas and ways of thinking the novel shows how these tensions can lead to conflict and misunderstanding number 5 community and identity the novel also explores the themes of community and identity afuru is deeply connected to her village and her community and her identity is shaped by her relationships with those around her the novel examines the importance of these relationships in shaping who we are and how we are we see ourselves